What's up guys, Matt Laidlaw here. So I wanna give you guys a walk around on this Street Glide special 2018 model year that one of my customers was nice enough to let me feature his bike on the YouTube channel here. So let me give you guys a walk around on all the stuff he's done. So front end, pretty stock. These bikes all came blacked out from the factory starting the 2018 model year. So the lighting, he definitely upgraded in a big way. So these, this is the LED Daymaker headlamps. It's the new style that came out on the soft tails of the 2018 model year. This is exactly what I did on my personal bike, actually. I really like the look. It's a fresh look that you know isn't the Daymaker that they've been using for several years now. Not that those are bad, those are good looking lights as well, but these just like a little bit a little bit more modern, not as many people have them. The cool thing about this bike is he's got a Krauss T-bar setup that we're gonna get a closer shot of in just a second. This is an Arlen S air cleaner on here. Kind of a cool high-end air cleaner, looks real good. And the engine is pretty much stock. All the black uh, covers and everything that you see on the motor is all from the factory. So this is kind of the reason why I wanted to show off this bike because it's a pretty cool, unique bar setup that I think is getting more and more popular that not a whole lot of people have yet. These are the Krauss uh, isolated risers. It's a 10 inch riser. I'm gonna be showing you guys the website catalog here in just a second. But then you got the, the Fly Moto style bars on here. This is a 10 inch, we did not have to change the cables. These are stock cables on here. And you've got the T-Rex pullback plate down there. I'll get a better shot of it in just a second. But the immediate thought that I think a lot of people are gonna have is, wow, that blocks your infotainment system. Well, yeah, it kinda does. So that's, that's the compromise you make when you do this bar setup. So here's the T-Rex the pullback plate that repositions where the bars mount to the triple trees, basically. And then you'll notice too, there's like a plastic fairing skirting at the bottom there that is pulled off to accommodate that pullback plate on there. So that's been removed. You can kind of see the, the tops of the, the fork tubes there as well. But I'm a huge fan of this style. I really, really like it. I think it's only getting more popular. They're really fun to ride as well. I didn't ride this particular bike. I would have liked to, but uh, neither me nor Peter had time that day. But yeah, it just gives the bike a really cool, just a modern sporty profile to these baggers. You know, more of that performance bagger orientation that a lot of people are, are really looking for right now. You got a Lucky Dave's bagger seat on here as well. Kind of cool like red stitching that matches his mufflers I'll show in a second. And these seats are you know, pretty popular too. They give you like that, that small little like wall in your lower lumbar support area. You got profile mirrors on here. That's a genuine Harley part. The grips are the Dominion Collection grip. It's a brand new style this model year, the 2019 model year. It's got upgraded windshield there. That's a LBS windshield. There's another shot of the front profile. I want to give you guys kind of a shot of the fairing in relationship to the bars as well and how high they come up. Again, these are 10 inch Krauss isolated risers on here. Krauss makes some pretty high quality stuff. Some of you may have seen a red Rogue Glide special that we did a Krauss T-Bar setup on a little while ago as well. Yeah, is, I'm, I'm a huge fan of this stuff. And um, yeah, of course we, we did the bars here. Our techs did it. You know, one of the main things that separates the, the weekend garage guys from the pros is the wiring. You know, we can always tell when a homeboy bar job comes in where it's just kind of like yeah the bars and the wiring are terrible you got svt bone shaker mufflers on here they sound really good they actually had a really good tone i wasn't really familiar with these mufflers i don't have much experience with them but they sounded pretty dang good but yeah i mean it, obviously it's a trade-off with the with the screen you know the more you use the infotainment systems the less you kind of are looking at the screen you kind of know things intuitively i guess the only thing that would kind of suck is like the gps you know, you can't, you don't really have a good view of the GPS. I think it'd be really cool if someone did the new electric glide standard that doesn't come with a radio. If they did that bike with this Krauss bar setup, because then you're not blocking anything. And that's, that's just a good starting point for, you know, a bike for, you know, something if you're going to build something out and you spend a lot of money on parts and extras, that's a great starting point. That way you're not ripping off all the nice parts that come on a street glide special. Um, like if, if you were to like go all out and all in on a performance bagger, you know, and do like suspension and um, you know, all that stuff, front end, bars. All right guys, so I wanna give you a shot of the parts on Krauss's website here. So this is shot by a bike and I went to bagger basically. So these are the risers right here 
that we use. It's called the Krauss Isolated Riser. I'm gonna click on that. So on this particular bike, we went with a 10 inch. So these are 10 inch and we did not have to change the cables. So this bike is utilizing stock cables. I would guess, I don't know for sure, but I would guess if you went to 12 inch, you'd have to change out the cables, which would you know, cost you quite a bit more because now you have to recable the bike, which is quite a bit more labor, plus the cost of the cables as well. And then the clamp sizes, the one and an eighth inch moto bars. So go back here. You also need this T-Rex pullback plate as well. So that's mandatory and it's on this build as well. And then they sell right off their website here, this FM Fly Moto style bars for Harley hand controls. So these are, these are the bars right here that were used on this build here. And those are the main parts. Yeah, this, this turned out to be, you know, the, the profile and overall package look of this bike. He didn't do a ton, but the things he did do are, were, you know, main pieces that made, you know, a real significant change in the overall look and style of the bike. Obviously the bars completely change, you know, the whole front fairing area in a big way. And then he also did the custom dynamics LED turn signals in the front and rear, rear as well. But that's about it, guys. I, I, like I said, I didn't ride this bike. I would have liked to, but yeah, I really like the T-bar setup on these baggers the next bike i do i'll probably do a, a t-bar setup similar to these i really like the leverage you get out of these bars again it's just more of like a moto upright style leverage and, and feel you feel like you can you know it gives you a little bit more aggressive leverage on the bike and so i just kind of like the handling maybe it's because it's different maybe it's just because of the way i ride my bike i don't know Anyways, guys, if you like the bike, give Peter a thumbs up on his Street Glide special. And um, yeah, click that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed for my future videos and content. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.